Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to add text to an image in Photopea. And I'm going to give some very specific instructions for what I'm looking for for my students, but this is kind of generally uh, applicable how to add a text box and edit text in Photopea. So let's get into it. So this picture here is from the Reflections Project. I saw this ice coming into school one day and really enjoyed the way that the texture of the ice looked as well as the way that the colors, the cool blue color and the warm orange tones were in contrast with each other. I've done my edits and if you look here in my history you can see I cropped it, resized it, changed the brightness and contrast, changed the vibrance and the color balance. Now you'll also see type tool here. Now, in the history palette, I have selected color balance so that the type isn't shown. But if I click here in the type tool, it will show us the end goal. The end goal here being photo by and then your name. Now, you can see this is in white. I think what we want to try to do is stick to black or white. Um, find a part of the image where that text will stand out as much as possible. So let's back up and I'll show you how we got here. The first thing that you need to do for this exercise is make sure that your photo is resized for what we call resize for printing. That's going to be no bigger than 4 by 6 inches at 300 pixels per inch. Now this image is actually exactly that. Right? And if we go to image size we can see 4 inches by 6 inches at 300 pixels per inch. It says DPI here. It should say PPI pixels per inch. That's what it's describing. So once you've resized your image for this 4x6 print, you can follow along with the exact information that I'm going to give you. If you think that you're going to try to extrapolate the info from this video into something a little bit different, you should be able to. Let's get into it. So the first thing we need to do is get the type tool, and that's going to be down here. It's the T. You can also hit T on the keyboard, and that will get you the type tool. You click and hold here, or rather press down here at the T, that'll get you the type tool. Um, what I'm going to recommend is exactly the settings that I'm going to show you up here, um, with a few variables if you're in my class. Again, if you're trying to um, explore the, the type tool, there are definitely lots of variations. And if you stick to everything that I'm showing you up here the exact same way, and your fit photo or your image or your text doesn't look exactly right, well, what uh, you can do is um, you can kind of backtrack. Right? It's likely that the font isn't exactly the same or the size of the photo isn't exactly the same. All right, here we go. So uh, up here at the top of the menu, we can see font, deja vu sans. That's the first thing. Uh, let's make sure everybody chooses that. Book, we can leave here. That's the default. Now, select size and enter 75 pixels. You may end up changing yours slightly, but this is a good starting place for this particular sized image, 4 by 6 at 300 pixels per inch. Over here, this white box is actually the color of the text. And I definitely recommend looking at the bottom of the photo to put your text in. And if the bottom of your photo is bright, choose black. If the bottom of your photo is dark, like it is here, choose white. And if you click right here, you can see you can actually make it any color you want. Um, in order to make it black, you just click and drag down here to the bottom left corner, and you can see up here is black. And then if it's white that you want, click and drag up to the bottom, I'm sorry, the upper left, and that'll give you white. Right? You can also plug in these numbers here, 255, 255, 255. That will give you white. 000, zero, zero will give you black. So let's go ahead and select white and click OK because the bottom of my photo is dark. Then over here we want to make sure that the justification is center. So we want to center our text on the image. Sharp is fine right here. Now, once we've done that, the next step is to click and drag from the bottom left corner to the right side of the image. Mm, that didn't work. Let's see why not. I'm going to hit escape and that will undo what I've just done. Let's try again. Okay, so I guess I think what happened was you need to make sure that you start the selection somewhere in the photo itself. I started outside and it didn't actually select it. So what I'm going to do is, is actually go to the edge here. And you can see when I get to the edge of the photo, it snaps. The edge of the boundary box, the text boundary box, will snap to the edge of the photo. 
So go to the bottom and then the right. Now I will adjust that and I also didn't quite get to the bottom there so I will go over here. I want to go all the way to the left. It should snap into place like it did there and then I can make this a little smaller somewhere down here. And I can adjust this later but the key is as long as the left and right sides are snapped to the edges of the photo and I have this center justification selected up here, the text will now be centered. If I've done my resizing four by six, uh, 75 pixels should give me the right size. And you'll see here when I type in photo by Mr. Stansfield, we are in business. Now, the, the, the text doesn't exactly go to the edges and that's okay. Um, if I wanted to, I could change the size over here. Before I do that though, I want to confirm the text box. I want to bring this down a little bit first. I think having a little bit of space on the bottom of the image for that text to live, kind of floating a little bit above the bottom is probably good. And I want to confirm that text box goes, text box goes away and it looks pretty good. Photo by Mr. Stansfield. Now, check this out. I can actually change the size very easily and very quickly once I've confirmed the text box over here, you can see in the layers palette, it says photo by Mr. Stansfield and the T. What I can do now is go here. I can either click this little triangle and I can adjust the slider here. Or actually, if you just grab the word size and click and drag to the left and right, it'll allow you to make that bigger or smaller. And I can fill in a little bit more for my name, right? If I'm just using Mr. Stansfield, um, it's a little bit shorter. Um, if you have a very short name, you might be able to go a little bit bigger. If you have a very long name, you might go a little smaller. You can also go to two lines. So you could say photo by on the top and then your name on the bottom. As long as you have this center justification, it should look centered over here. And you can see somewhere around 90, 92 pixels is the right size for this particular text. So I am looking for this for each of the photos that you're going to submit for the portfolio. I want you to add this to each of your um, photos um, for the final portfolio, okay? And I want it to look consistent with the same centering. Um, it doesn't have to be the exact same size, but it should be close. It should sort of look the same. And uh, the uh, font, this Deja Vu Sons, we want to um, have consistent. It's okay if it's black or white, but you wanna choose one or the other for each photo, depending on the photo. And finally, if you have a horizontal photo, okay, that's going to be wider than it is tall, a horizontal photo, um, you're going to have more space for that text. So it may be a little bit bigger. It's okay if you don't fill the whole bottom, right? You don't want the text to take up half of the picture by going across the whole thing. You want it to kind of live out of the way, readable, legible, so people know who took the photo, but really want to allow people to focus on the photo itself. That's how you're going to add text for your portfolio projects.